there's a lot of hype and buzz around USC. It's just year two, but there's a lot of hype and buzz what he's doing, and I think bringing that energy and that excitement back to South Carolina football. Oh, yeah, and we got to talk about the TikTok video. <laughs> yeah, dude, the Soldier Boy. <laughs> oh, Incredible. Man. How can oh, you not? Yeah. How can you not love Beamer? How can you not? Oh love man, I started jumping up at work. I was hyped. I said, "I'm ready for the season to start now." I mean, it's just um, as far as him, like I like I said before, each coach brought things to Carolina that were needed, and mm-hmm. um, Lou Holtz was the necessary uh, that we needed. And then when Spurrier came, it taught the you know Carolina to actually interject money into the program. Mm-hmm. You know, so with Shane Beamer, I think what it is and we and what I was seeing in our coaching selections, we were finding coaches kind of at the end of the road. Mm. Um, that they didn't really have the enthusiasm of a young coach to really, you know, be hands on and, and relate to the players like that. And I think we had that in Shane Beamer. That is what we needed. We've been kind of chasing, I would I don't like to say ghosts, but you know, it's it's coaches, you got to think, you know, Spurs kind of at the end of his thing. He was here to kind of get some things, but, you know, he walked off. It was, it was, he's done so much. It wasn't, it doesn't give you that passion mm. as a, a young coach. And when, when Beamer came in, we went to go meet him. First thing he said was, this is his, this was his dream, uh, dream job, you know, and I, and he said that with conviction, like, you know, he's one that really wanted to be here, not for a check. But wanted to be here, really believes in it. And you can tell by, uh, you know, the way the players react to him, uh, the way that the city, Gamecock Nations react to him. He he really, and it's delivering. We saw the, you know, the change in the way we were playing last year, you know. And I've been, you know, paying attention to spring workouts and everything like that. I mean, I'm I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I've been looking at the, at our, uh, our schedule and I'm, I'm seeing uh, if we play the way we play, are supposed to play, man. I, I could see easily a 9-10 win season. Easily. Brian, Brian Elam on the record, 9 or 10 win right. season. I'm talking, but season. I see it. I see it. But, uh, but no, I, I'm, I'm loving what he's doing. He's relating to the players. You need that. Um, some of the issues, like even when we were there at Carolina, we were there with Lou Holtz. Like I say, he did some great things. But some things he just wasn't able to relate to the players were, and it caused a lot of friction. It caused uh, a rip in my trajectory as a player because me and him never really did hit it off like that. Um, but it was just due through, he just couldn't understand where we were coming from, you know, as players. And I think Shay Beaver is able to connect to these players, and that's why they're able to, you know, um, really congeal to him. And you can see that they're, you know, ready to run through a wall for him. And that's what you need as a coach. And that's what Gamecock Nation needed right now. Yeah.